This is the Charlottesville area transit, otherwise known as a CAT, in Charlottesville, Virginia. This is that's bus number 115. It's going to head back, I guess it's northbound or something like that, on the number five towards Walmart and Fashion Square. We had to go this way because of the way that the bus that some of the bus routes run in a loop, which is a one-way thing. There goes the UVA bus. Um, and the bus stop for where we're staying, or where we were staying, is only on one side of the street. Uh, the bus does not operate bi-directional. That's a 35-foot low-floor Gillig. Not sure what year it is, but it looks like it's at least a 2010. But then again, Gillig doesn't really change the looks of their buses too much either. The full one-way fare is a dollar fifth. Is a um, a dollar fifty. A one-day fare, I mean. Uh, the full one way is 75 cents reduced is 35 cents and it's 75 cents for a day for the full 24 hour pass when you have uh, for the 24 hour reduced pass when you have a, uh, a disability ID uh, it's number five on Sundays the five and the seven are molded together into the number 12 uh, which has a service span of somewhere around 8 o'clock in the morning until around 6 p.m. but most of the time most of the week these buses do run until at least 11 p.m. or greater Hope we're on the right side of the road. We are going to be on our way back to Norfolk in a little bit. This is one of their typical bus stops. You see, it's got a uh, the the top up here indicating it's a bus stop, no parking zone. Something else it doesn't seem to have is uh, Newport News has no parking signs on the bus stops. Um, and then it's a pole with a schedule panel. Gives you a general idea of how the buses run. And this is a fairly typical bus shelter for their uh, stops. There's quite a few shelters. Uh, there's some stops that have just the benches. Oh, my state. There's another UVA bus. State. That's another 35 foot gilded. 